Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at I Love Lucy. More specifically, in moments where on the Lucy show, or as I Love Lucy, they use binoculars. Now, you may be surprised at how many times they actually use them. Now, I will show you a few moments where we do see the binoculars, but if you have a moment that I miss from the show, feel free to put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it, maybe cover it in a future episode. But now, we're going to get to look at these wonderful moments. Now, the first one we're going to look at is from the episode New Neighbors. It's from season one of I Love Lucy. Now, this is a great one in which the episode begins with Lucy and Ethel hanging out the Ricardo's apartment window. They're looking down at new neighbors that happen to be moving into their apartment complex. And of course, the girls are super nosy. The boys are kind of upset that they're being super nosy. But this is a great moment in which we see Lucy pull out the binoculars and then even everyone else fight over them. They mention that there's a beautiful blonde down in the street and then the boys get up and then they steal the binoculars so it's a great scene and overall it's a really good episode in my opinion so if you haven't taken a look you really really should moving on to season four of i love lucy we come to the episode ethel's birthday this is one that i really enjoy because ethel's trying to give everyone a hint and a clue that her birthday is coming up and so fred wants to get her something and tells lucy hey could you buy the gift for me so she buys these weird pants and the girls get into a gigantic fight. Now Ricky and Lucy decide to buy Ethel and Fred some theater tickets and this whole thing becomes a mess. But they actually go to the theater. We see the Mertz is here, especially Fred Mertz. Now let me tell you, I love Lucy and Ricky and Ethel, but to me, I don't know why we don't see Fred as much, but in the scenes where he is, he is so golden. He is amazing. He stands out, and I love him here in this scene with Ethel, him having the binoculars, and then Ethel stealing it, and then the strap kind of buckling his face to the side. In my opinion, one of the funniest moments in the entire episode because, I don't know, when things happen to Fred, to me, it's just funny. I can't stop laughing no matter how many times. I've seen it. And then the girls join in the fun trying to fight over the binoculars and the guy behind them of course crushes them, brings them from one set of binoculars, or actually he cuts them in half with his bare strength. Very, very strong guy. And then the girls uh, use them one each and hide them from Fred. What a great scene. Now continuing on with season five, this is where the Ricardos and Mertzes head over to Europe. Now in this episode, it's called the Fox Hunt and Lucy and the gang are in England, and what they're trying to do is go fox hunting. However, Lucy really doesn't know how to ride a horse or anything like that, so she is assisted, and then we see Fred bringing some binoculars to the horse stables. He's trying to see Lucy as she parades around on the horse, not knowing what she's doing, and uses his binoculars. Again, kind of a great scene, and in my opinion, the one scene I really do want to highlight is the one at the end. I know it doesn't have to do much with binoculars, but it's really funny when Lucy comes out in the shrub and there's supposedly a fox in there with her. We see the bushy tail as she goes away and we see Ricky bending over and just staring at the tail and going off camera. I don't know why that is just so funny to me. And then to see Fred hunched over following is just such a physically, visually funny scene. Let me know what you think down below. Now we can't forget the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. Now it's also called the I Love Lucy hour-long episodes. And what these are, they basically decided to make hour-long I Love Lucy episodes. They had celebrities in all of them. There were 13 total. They don't show them much in syndication, but they are out there if you really spot them. And in this one, Lucy wins a racehorse. They go to the racetrack and they're trying to race this horse called Whirling Jet. Now when they finally get to the racetrack, you see that a lot of people have binoculars. You see little Ricky with some. You see Ethel and Fred with some. I guess Ethel got his... Uh, got him a replacement after his issues. So it's really nice to see more people with the binoculars. And it's a great episode overall. Now this one I will have out of order because I almost forgot to include it into this video. And that is The Celebrity Next Door. That's the second episode of the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour guest starring Tallulah Bankhead. Now she was great in this episode. In fact, you may not know that she replaced 
Betty Davis. She was supposed to be the guest star, but last minute, I believe she broke her arm and she couldn't appear in the episode, so they got Tallulah Bankhead as a last minute, last minute replacement. And all in all, it worked out okay. There's some behind the scenes drama that I covered in a past episode, so you should take a look at that to know what happened behind the scenes. But anyway, getting to the binocular scene, it's right in the beginning where again, Lucy is spying on her new neighbor. Now it's a celebrity though, Tallulah Bankhead, and she has binoculars around her neck. Now you could see that she has new ones and they're huge. Look at the magnification on these things. I mean, she could probably see all the wrinkles on Tallulah's face from across the state. So it's really funny to see this episode and Lucy freaking out knowing that Tallulah Bankhead was now in her house. Which of these was your favorite episode? Which one stands out to you and why? Let me know in the comments down below. Now don't be afraid to share, like, and subscribe this video. Again, it does help out smaller channels like myself. Yes, believe it, the huge millions and millions of subscribers in those channels, they get the priority over smaller channels like me. So in order to have a viability, don't forget to support the channel. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time, guys and gals, and don't forget to stay positive, and most importantly, be hopeful. To my top contributors, Kenneth B. and Verbal Volley, as well as my Patreon supporters, Andrew, David, and Joe.